Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Ari Laufer. I'm an executive at WISE Employment, and I welcome everybody here to week two of WISE Fest. Now, what a week it's been and what a festival it has been. It's been really fantastic. But before I go any further, I'd like to acknowledge that our meeting is being held across a number of lands, but I'm based on the Yulaburuk people of the Bunurong clan of the Kulin Nation in southwest Gippsland in Victoria. I wish to acknowledge them as the traditional owners, and I'd like to pay my respects to their elders, past and present and emerging, as well as Aboriginal elders and members of other communities who are meeting us here today and across all the lands here, and thank you. Welcome everyone. Today's really exciting for week two of the Wise Fest. We're calling this Rooster Size. And we should, because it's going to be an awesome, awesome session. We've got Bridie Parker, winger of the Sydney Roosters NRLW team, an absolute gun. People don't realise that Bridie actually used to play union and has a gold medal from the Commonwealth Games. How fantastic is that? Apart from her being an absolute gun in the NRLW. Um, as well as that, she was one of the first uh, females to be contracted for the NRLW as well, and deservingly so. For those who've seen her play, she's an absolute gun. But we're very, very happy to have her here today, a large supporter of WISE, um, to, to go through Rooster Size. So I'll throw to you, Bridie, and thank you. Thanks, Ari. Hi, everyone. It's so exciting to see so many numbers turn out today. Um, so today we're going to do a full body interval circuit. No equipment required. Don't be scared off by my equipment in the background here. We won't need any of that. Um, to start off with, we're going to do a bit of a warm up to get the body ready for activity. Um, then we're going to go into our session, which will be um, 30 seconds worth of work followed by 30 seconds worth of rest before we move on to the next exercise. And then we will finish with a warm down and um, a little bit of breathing to bring us back to um, back to, back to, oh, I don't even know, back to resting and get us ready for um, the rest of our day. So um, we'll begin with our warm up if everyone's ready. So we just need a little bit of space to be able to perform these exercises. We're going to do some um, mobility exercises as well as activate some muscle groups and then um, also increase our heart rate to get that blood pumping around the body. So our first exercise is going to be a stretch called the world's greatest. So this is a mobility exercise, which looks like this. So you're going to be in a lunge stance, hands down on the ground if you can. If you can't bring that back leg off the ground, you can pop that on the ground as well. We're going to pop both hands on the ground. I'm going to open up towards our ceiling or the roof of the leg that's up. So the arm that's closest to our leg, we're going to open it up towards the ceiling and we're going to do four of those. Three and four. And then we're going to change to the opposite side. Remember, we can pop that back leg down or come up with it for a bigger stretch, opening up our hips and getting some movement through that back. One there, nice and controlled. Two, three, and four. Perfect. Our next one is going to be a little bit of a lower back mobility. So this is called a cat camel stretch. So in the name itself, we're going into an angry cat and we're coming into a camel where we're curving our back and tucking our tailbone bone underneath our body. So let's move through those movements. You want to do four in each position. Nice and slow and controlled again. We're just getting the ready, body ready for movement. That's three. And one more. And four. Okay, this next one is called an inchworm with a push up. So we're going to be activating our hamstrings as well as getting these chest muscles all warmed up considering we're doing a full body set. So what it looks like is we're going to inchworm out and then we're going to go into a push up from here. So if you can't do it on your toes, drop to your knees and we're going to come into a push up. Then we're going to come back onto our toes. We're going to walk it back in and that's one rep. So we're going to do four of those. So again, we can bend our knees if we can't get that stretch as well. So 
And then if we need to drop to our knees, coming into a push up, again, coming to our toes and walking that back up. And just continue to do that. Into our push up, coming back up and walking back in. One more. Knees, push up, and on our way back up. Awesome. So now we're going to um, go into glute bridges. So what they look like, we're going to be laying on our back. Our legs should be at 90 degrees, and we're going to bring our hips towards the ceiling. So we want to drive our bottom up and bring our hips towards the ceiling. So we're going to do 10 of these. We want to squeeze that bottom at the top. Really get it working. Nice and slow and controlled again. Driving through our heels and squeezing our bottom at the top. And one more. Squeeze. And relax. So now we've activated and got a bit of mobility through our limbs. We're going to do some star jumps to increase our heart rate to get that blood pumping to our muscles. So we're going to go for 20 seconds. So we're going to go out and clap our hands across our body on the way in. So if we can't do that, we can just step out and back in. Choose what option suits you best. So the 20 seconds is counting down. Let's get that heart rate up. Very good. Keep on working. Five, four, three, two, one. Great work everyone. I hope we're feeling nice and warm now. I know I am. Okay, so time for our session. So our full body interval circuit. So as the name suggests, we're gonna work our whole body today. Um, and it's going to be on that 30 seconds worth of work to 30 seconds worth of rest ratio that I mentioned earlier. So our first exercise is going to be a squat. So what a squat looks like is this movement, just like this. If we want to make it a bit harder, we can squat and add a little pulse into every rep. Little pulse coming up. If we can't do that, we just want to do little little squats whatever your capability or fitness level is today make sure you choose the best option for you there'll be lots of options in our exercises today following our squat with a pulse we're going to do a hamstring walkout so we've with our squat we're targeting our muscles here and our bottom muscles so our quads and our glutes with our hamstring curls we're targeting the back of our legs so these are called our hamstrings so what that looks like like we did in the workout before, we did in our warm up, our glute, glute bridge. So we're coming into that same position. We're coming up and we're going to walk our heels out away from our body. Once we've got as far as we can, we drop our hips and come back to that starting position. Same thing for the whole 30 seconds. If that's too challenging, we can just hold this position here. So hold that position for the full 30 seconds. Our next one after that will be a walking plank. So a walking plank, this is quite a challenging one, so we'll give you a few options. So a walking plank is going to target our core as well as our arms. So what it looks like, we're going to be dropping to our elbows and coming back up. Swapping arms each side. If that's too challenging, dropping to our knees and doing the same thing. Dropping to our elbow, coming up. Dropping to that elbow and coming up and changing sides every time. So following on from that one, I'll make sure I tell, tell everyone what the next exercise is because I know there's a lot that I'm going through here. Um, so our next one is our tricep dips. So with what we just did, the walking plane, targeting more our chest and these muscles through here. So like with the hamstrings, we want to target those muscles at the back that we just didn't work. So this one is called a tricep dip. So we're in, our, we're in this position here with our knees at 90 degrees. 
and we're coming up and we're just lowering our bottom to the ground, pushing our elbows away from our body. And we should feel a nice burn in the back of our arms. If we want to make that harder, we move our legs further away from our body. So the closer we have our feet to our bottom, the easier it's going to be, the further away, the more challenging that's going to be. Okay? And then we're going to finish with a nice core exercise, which is great for our lower abdomen and also helps with our lower back um, pain as well. So really good for um, lower back stability is to have a strong core down in this lower abdomen, which not many exercises target. So this is called a dead bug. So what it looks like when you're laying on our ground, we pretty much look like a dead bug. And we're going to go opposite leg to opposite arm. And we're just bringing those in the opposite direction. If that's too challenging, place our hands underneath our bottom and just bring our leg, our heel towards the ground. And we should still get that nice burn in that lower abdomen. All right, so that's all our exercises. So on my end, I'm gonna have a timer. You'll hear it ting when we're ready to start. And also it will ting when the 30 seconds is up and it's time to rest. Um, but if we're all ready, so our first exercise, we've probably already forgotten, is our squat. So either we can squat, we can add a little pulse in there to make it more challenging or um, reduce the depth of our squat if it's too challenging. So just little ones, if it's too challenging to go that full depth. Okay, let's get this started. All right, we'll begin in three, two, one. <laughs> Into our squats. 30 seconds worth of work here. Nice and controlled. We'll start to feel those muscles burning pretty quickly. Focus here to drive through our heels on the way up and squeeze our bottom at the, at the top. Can already feel my legs burning, I bet you can. And that's rest. It's our first exercise down. Our next one is our hamstring walkout. So remember this one? We're laying on our back and we're walking our hamstrings out. So that's our next one. So we've still got 15 seconds rest. Enjoy our rest. It's not going to feel that long as we progress. It's going to feel like it's getting shorter, but it's not, I promise. Right, we're on the floor. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bringing our hips up and walking our feet away from our body and dropping and returning to that space. Remember, we can just hold this position if we find that too challenging. You just hold this for the full 30 seconds or challenge yourself. Walk those feet away from our body. Should feel a nice burn in our hamstrings, the back of our legs. And rest. Great work, everyone. Next one is our walking plank. This one's a bit cruel, but it's such a great exercise. Targets a lot of muscles. If we have to drop to our knees midway through the exercise, that's completely fine. Just keep working for the full 30 for me. We've got 10 seconds rest. Starting in four, three, two, one. <laughs> We're walking with our arms. Remember, we can drop to our knees if we have to. Remember to try and alternate our arms every time we come up. Keep that back nice and still. We don't want to be rocking side to side. Really engage that core. Great work, everyone. I'm glad, I'm glad that's over. 30 seconds rest here. Then we're going into our tricep dips, targeting these muscles here next. Get yourself ready. So we want to tuck those elbows nice and tight so we're targeting those triceps. Little touches of that bottom on the ground. 
And we're sending our elbows away from our body. Further away, the more challenging it is. Challenge yourself if you think it's too easy. Bring it back. You can alternate between both if you feel. Our next one is our core cool one, our dead, dead bug. We're looking like a dead bug. Enjoy that rest though. Get ready for the next exercise. Hands up in the sky, and then we're going opposite leg, opposite arm. Full 30. Keep on working. We're nearly after this. We've only got two more rounds to go. Great work. That's too challenging. Hands under the bottom, and we're just tapping the floor with our heel. Thinking about that lower stomach. Great work, everyone. That's round one down. We've only got two more to go. So we're going to return to our squats next. So that's one circuit complete. We've got two to go. Hope we're all feeling okay. I know my muscles are starting to burn by the end of it. All right, we're on in five seconds. Let's go back to those squats. 30 seconds here. And we're going to add that little pulse. Keep it up. We've got 10 seconds left. Push through that burn. It'll be worth it. Three, two, one. Nice work, everyone. Squats are done. Our next one is our hamstring. Hamstring walkouts. Make sure we challenge ourselves, but remember there is those options if we need them. We can just hold that, this position for the whole 30 seconds if we need to. Getting ready. <laughs> Little small walks out as far as you can go, then drop that bottom and come back to the start. Hamstrings should really be feeling it now. Keep on working. Good work, everyone. Nice. Great work. Our next one, we're back to our walking plank. My favorite. Get those arms ready. Still got 15 seconds worth of rest. We've only got one more round after this. 15 minutes total of exercise. That's all we're doing today, but boy, it feels tough. All right, walking plank in two, one. Into our knees if we have to. Great stuff. We're nearing the end. Triceps next. We're going to feel that nice burn. If we're not feeling that burn, we want to really tuck those elbows close to our body and we should start to feel it much more. The further away, the more we're recruiting these muscles. So the closer to our body, the more we're going to recruit those triceps. And that's how the aim of this exercise. Let's get ready. 30 seconds. Mm. 
My arms are burning. Okay, pushing everyone. We're near the end. Nice. That's great, everyone. We've got our dead bug to finish us off for this round. Then we're only going to go through all those exercises once more time. Things are doing fantastic. Keep up the great work. We've got 10 seconds worth of rest and we're going into our dead bug. Nice and controlled. Really focus on engaging that lower stomach. That's the area we're targeting. Remember, we can regress it. Heels to the floor. Great work, everybody. Two rounds down, one to go. We're on the, we're on the home straight. Five exercises. Then we get to relax and do a nice warm down, a nice stretch, get our breathing back, and then enjoy the rest of our day. 10 seconds rest here. Then we're going into our squats. Remember, this is our last round. If you like, you can push yourself, add that pulse in. Last 30 seconds. Keep that body moving for full 30 seconds, okay? Keep it up. We're halfway. Feel that burn. Push through that burn. I know you can do it. And rest. No more squats, I promise. We're done with those for today. Our next exercise is our hamstring bridge. We're going to be walking that out. Take some deep breaths here. Four exercises to go. <laughs> Hips up. Let's walk those feet out. Nice and slow, as far as you can go, and then drop those hips and come back to start. Keep on working, everyone. You're doing so well. Push through that pain. That burn is only temporary, I promise. Relax, and yes, great work. Did so well. Okay, back to our walking plank. Let's target those upper body muscles again. Enjoy our rest. Deep breath in and out. Running five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Keep on working, everyone. Remember, we can drop to our knees if we have to. Do a few reps. Let our arms to cover a little bit. And we'll come back on some of our toes. Push in and relax. Two exercises to go. We've got our tricep dips and our dead bug. We're doing really well, everyone. We're nearly done. Taking some deep breaths in here. Shaking those arms out if we have to. We're gonna target these triceps now. Let's go. 30 seconds worth of work. We can do it. Keep those elbows tucked, nice and tight. Feel the burn. 
And now I show again. Who thought bodyweight exercises could be so tough? <laughs> You're doing so well. Keep up the good work. And relax. Woo. Shake those arms out. Nice work. Dead bugs to go. And then we're going to do a nice stretch. Last exercise of today. Make sure we challenge ourselves. Let's work for that full 30 seconds. Get ourselves ready. All right, let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Try and get it all the way down. Let's keep going, everyone. You're doing great. Really start my core, feeling my core now. Remember, we can regress to just our feet if we have to. And done. Good stuff. How's that? Any feedback? I hope you all enjoyed it. Okay, let's just take a second to get our breathing back. In through our nose, out through our mouth. And again, one more. And relax. Okay, let's stretch those muscles that we just worked really hard. So our first one is a figure four. So in this position that we work with our triceps, but we're gonna stretch our bottom muscles. So I'm gonna put one leg, or I'll go this one first, on top of the other like this. So we're creating a figure four, with our body, you can just, like this, figure four, and just holding that position for 20 to 30 seconds. To get a deeper stretch, we push our knee further away from our body. Should feel a nice stretch in that glute that's lifted off the ground. And relax. Let's swap to the other leg. Let's stretch him out too. Holding this position. Then we can push that knee further away and feel a deeper stretch. 10 more seconds. Fantastic. Okay, let's stretch that groin out. I like to call this the butterfly stretch. So we're bringing our feet as close as we can to the midline of our body. And we're pushing those knees away from us, away from our body, away from our body. The more we push into that, the deeper we'll feel the stretch through the inside of our legs. So holding that position. Really focusing on our breathing now. We want to get our heart rate back down. Start to relax a bit. Let those muscles loosen out. Let's shake those legs out. And we're going to sit back into the butterfly stretch once again. See if we can push that a little bit further this time. A nice deep stretch. Great work. Whilst we're still targeting the lower body, we're going to stretch those hip flexors out. I know a lot of us are doing a lot of sitting at the moment with lockdown. So this is a really nice stretch to get in that front of that hip, all these tighten up when we're sitting down. So to get a nice deep stretch, we want to push that hip forward. And we should feel a nice stretch down here. And stay nice and upright, with our torso, nice and upright. Should feel a nice stretch in the front of here into our hip flexors. Great work, all right. But now we're going to go into a hamstring stretch. So with, with this leg that was just placed on the ground, we're gonna bring it out in front of us. And then we're just gonna move our body over the top of it. We should feel a nice stretch right down the whole back of our leg. From those nasty hamstring walkouts, 
We should feel a nice stretch there. Holding this again, 10 more seconds. And release. Let's swap legs now. Back to that hip flexor stretch. We want to stay nice and tall here. And then we push that bottom forward. Nice stretch through the hip flexor. You might notice one side's tighter than the other. Might be something that we can add into our daily routine. It only takes to do three times each side, 30 seconds, but you'll be very thankful for it. All right, let's stretch this other hamstring out, out in front of us, and we're just leaning our body over the top. Oh, I can feel this one. Get that nice stretch. Holding that position. Great work. Okay, let's, let's now stretch those arms out from those nasty walking planks and those tricep dips. Get a nice stretch through the front of our arm here and our chest. Just gonna hold this. And we'll swap to the other side. Great work, give them a little bit of shake. Now we're gonna stretch that tricep out to bring it up and over our body, trying to touch our back. And a nice stretch through that arm. The more we bring our elbow across our body, the greater the stretch we'll get. And shake it out and go to the other side. Great work. Okay, we're going to finish with my favorite. This is called a child's pose. It allows us to get free centered back, back to our breathing. And it was also a really nice stretch. So we're sitting on our, we're sitting on our heels and we're just going to let our body collapse forward. And we're going to try and reach as far forward as we can with our hands. Nice stretch with that upper back. And the further we move our legs away, from our body, we'll get a nice stretch in our groin as well. We're just going to hold this position for 30 seconds. And I want us to really focus on our breathing here. So three seconds in our nose and three seconds out. So nice, deep, long breaths. Last one here, three seconds in, three seconds out. Once you're ready, come sit back up again. I hope we're all feeling good after that. I know I definitely am. Thank you all for joining in today. It was great to have so, see so many of you and I hope you really enjoyed the session. And, and from, on behalf of the clients and our, our team at Wise Employment, thank you, Bridie, for such an excellent, excellent uh, program there. Amazing. There's some really nice feedback in there saying thank you. Great work.